welcome back to my channel my name is charity if it's your first time here welcome to book on charity i hope that you consider subscribing to my channel down below so today i want to share with you my september tbr which also includes the books that i want to read in the magical readathon because i want to participate in the magical readathon um so the Medi so the magical readathon is a readathon that is hosted by g over at book roast i will link her stuff over there down there somewhere and it is my first time doing a magical readathon because i didn't even know it existed until about two weeks ago and i was so impressed with what she did with this readathon there was no way i wouldn't want to participate so um so i've got books that are allocated towards the readathon and i also have books that i just want to read um in september there is a bunch of books i'm not going to get through all of these books but i'm hoping to at least read about five or six of these books um for the magical readathon i only need to complete two of the prompts um because we're doing the novice path so yeah with that said i'm actually gonna start with the books that i want to read in september that are not part of the magical readathon and the first book is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I wanted to add a nice light contemporary to my read because a lot of the books that I have are fantasy or serious, more serious books. And I wanted one that was just gonna be a fun time. And I think Malibu Rising is going to be a fun time. The next book I have is The Mad Women's Ball, and this is by Victoria Moss. I love the cover of this book. It is so pretty. It's such a thin book. I am picking this book mainly because I need to read it, um, because I received it as a review copy, and I do actually want to get into it. It's a very short book. It's just about 200 pages or so, and... I wanted a book that I would I knew that I would finish quickly and this is it guys I need to make things easy for myself the next book I have is the six lives of African women I want to pick this up because I'm really interested to find out what the contents of this book is and yeah this is by Nana Dakoa Sekiyama I'm not sure where the author is from it doesn't really say I'm not sure where the author is from, but this book was blurbed by Bolu Baloa. I only know Bolu Baloa. I'm not sure who the other people are. Um, I'm assuming maybe they're writers as well. Maybe I'll check out what they've written thus far. But yeah, I'm interested to read The Sex Life of African Women. The other book I have is Dear Senturan, A Black Spirit Memoir by Akweke Emezi. I've been hearing great things about this book and I have major FOMO for it so I want to read it soon so yeah a quick game is easy here and then the final book is The Three Parts of Problem by Xi Jin Du. I actually already started this book um, I had to put it down because my brain was not ready for it um, there's a lot of signs in this book it's very sciencey and I think that it is kind of like obscuring my not my enjoyment but it's taking long for me to get into the story and I felt that I needed to be in a different space mind wise in order to pick it up again but I am really interested in reading this book I've heard or read great reviews on Goodreads so really looking forward to it i'm going to pick it up i think i must try and kind of like scan through the science and not give it too much thought because that is really slowing me down and making it difficult for me to understand because i'm not a physicist i'm not an astronomer i'm like i'm not anywhere close to the field so let's hope that gets easier the writing style in this book though is great because it's easy to read it's just i don't understand the science but it's whatever 
so that is my first pile of books that I want to read that is not linked to any readathons and for the magical reader I'm looking this way because my books are there I've made a note in my journal of all the reading prompts so the path that we are um, on right now is called the novice path and to basically pass the novice path you need to finish two books uh, which equate to two prompts so you only need two prompts to get to the next stage and they are I'm gonna read to you what the prompts are and you have to pick one book per prompt this is why I will have kind of like a stack over there and um, but there's an extra prompts that I forgot what they're called didn't I make a note somewhere this is my daily journal that is kind of like being used as a reading journal at this point because I'm really not updating my reading journal at all okay so I've got the novice path uh, magical readathon prompts here with me but there's also background prompts that needs to be completed before the end of before April next year and I've not picked any books for those prompts yet probably in one of my next videos I will talk about that and show you guys which books I'm dedicating towards the background prompts where you have to choose your character and where you're from your heritage your origin all of those things so for the novice path prompts the first prompt is to the first prompt is actually called the novice path entrance so it says read a book with a map so i mean for a fantasy magical readathon that's quite easy because there's a lot of books with maps and the one that I have selected is Son of a Storm and this is by C. Davis Okumboa. You guys have talked about this book so many times and I've said so many times that I've started this book on ebook. Um, couldn't continue because it was difficult to read and waited to get the physical copy and I've had the physical copy for a little bit but I haven't had the time to actually read it and as proof this book does have a map of Un which is a continent and yeah I'm looking forward to reading this one okay the next prompt is Ashton Tree a book that keeps tempting you or a book that is on top of your TBR a book that keeps tempting me is Six of Crows by the Bardugo. I read Shadow and Bone and because I watched the series on Netflix before I actually read the book, I assumed that um, Kaz and the team would be part of the book and I kept waiting for them to appear in the book and they didn't because I did not know that they would not be in Shadow and Bone they are in six of crows and so since I finished Shadow and Bone and was greatly disappointed that Kaz and um, the rest of the team were not there I was like I, I really need to read this book because um, I heard a lot of people say that six of crows is definitely better than Shadow and Bone so I'm really really looking forward to picking this one up okay the third prompt says mist the mist of solitude so read a stand alone so for that I picked up Artemis by Andy Wire and this is a sci-fi book that I've been meaning to read for so long um, I've, I'm really getting into sci-fi lately I'm really enjoy like reading to sleep in a sea of stars have has opened up uh, another part of me that I did not even know existed like well I knew that I loved watching sci-fi movies and series but I did not know I would enjoy reading sci-fi but I really want to get into it and hoping to pick up Artemis this month well, ok 
Okay, and the next one says The Ruin of Sky. Read a book featuring ghosts, haunted houses, or other supernatural elements. So I don't have a book about ghosts and I don't really read books that have ghosts in them. Um, I don't read horror. I do read thrillers though. But for that, I decided to go with The Year of the Witching. Um, I mean, witches are supernatural. So this book is very bright. This book is by Alice, Alexis Henderson. You guys have been wanting to pick up this book for so long and just not getting the opportunity to do it. And I'm hoping that I can pick this up during the September month and especially for the readathon. The fifth prompt says Obsidian Falls. Read a thriller or a mystery book. Well, I am currently already reading a thriller, but I have not picked it up in quite a bit. And that is Angels and Demons by Dan Brown. I picked this one specifically because I was really like uh, halfway, no, maybe like 30% in. And I really wanted to finish Angels and Demons before I went and picked up another thriller book. I don't want to do that. So I am dedicating Angels and Demons to prompt number five of reading a thriller or a mystery. Well, it's a mystery. I don't know if it falls in the thriller. I think Dan Brown is considered a, a th an author of thriller books, but I don't know. Okay, so the next prompt says Tower of Rumination. Read a five star prediction. And for that one, I have chosen to read A Court of Thorns and Roses. If you don't know about the series by now, I don't know. But um, I've been looking forward to getting into the series so badly. It's one of the series that I have told myself that I'm going to read <laughs> and hopefully finish this year still. And we are already in September and clearly I've not started. So I want to start. I want to start with Court of Thorns and Roses and hopefully next month I can pick up a Court of... What is it called? A Court of Mist and Fury and then follows a Court, a court of Wings and Ruin and a Court of Frost and Starlight. And then there's a... And then there's a Court of Silver Flames. So there's five. There's five books five major books because it's actually novellas as well in between so yeah let's see if i can get through the series this year and then the final prompt says aurelium academy arc read a book with a school setting which is perfect because i'm already reading one and that is the ravens and i am on page 100 of the ravens i will be done with this book hopefully in the next two days or so and I can take off one of these prompts and I'm like halfway to passing the notes part. So yeah, so and that is it. That is all the books that I wanna read in the month of September. I'm really looking forward to the magical readathon. I have not really printed out the map and everything yet. I have them saved. I have them saved, but I have not printed them out. So I actually need to do that. Maybe I can do that today. If I can find a, a um, printing shop. I'm going to Google that. I'm going to Google that so I can get to a printing shop and then print all the stuff that I need. But yeah, that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. And and remember to subscribe to my channel remember to like this video because it really helps it get noticed by people who have not seen my videos before and remember to share and comment down below um, a wand comment down below a magical wand for the magical readathon and I will see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>